Quick video here from RV's Toy Box with these Play School McDonald's play sets. There are lots of things that you can get to upgrade your setup with new stickers, reconditioned obviously stickers. Uh, you can also get uh, face kits now for these little guys. But the one thing that's currently nobody's producing out there is something that I took care of myself. Let's check it out. As you can see with these play mats that the McDonald's set sets on top of, you know, just about everyone that you find online is stained in some way. I mean, obviously being played with and stuff, or they've got the fold lines in them, or they've got these nasty stains on them and stuff. And mine, even though it came in fantastic condition, it still had the problem with the paper mat. Paper mats weren't designed to last 40 years, let's face it. So what I have done is kind of added or replaced it with a vinyl one. Let's take a look. There we go. Now, what I did is I digitally or digitized the mat and then recreated it uh, with my graphic design background. I can do a little bit of that and then kind of did a little upgrade over here on the side. Now, I didn't put the big pattern here in the middle because you didn't really need it because McDonald's place that's going to sit on top of it. And then I was also, because I designed this or redesigned it, I was able to fit it to a better size for my particular display here. So it's a little smaller than the large 27 inch mat that you have, which doesn't fit on pretty much most shelving. Uh, so I kind of made it this way. So let's take a look at when we put the different pieces on here. The McDonald's play set on here. Then we put in our piece here. Let me put the rest of it together here. Slide this all the way back. Plug this baby in, slide it over just a little bit. Then we can come over and take the cars. Put one here. A couple over here. And lastly is the playground. And that goes right Now, obviously, I can go back in and create a larger version. I will probably create a second, like, floor mat, which is going to be the original size. But this one allows me to have a shell or a shelf display here on top of my platform that still gives me, you know, reasonable use for the visuals. And, you know, read to the arrows, the platform on here. Still keeps the general color scheme and everything of the original. So when you take a look at, you know, the yellowing here compared to, you know, it's not too far off, but I redid my arrows with a little bit newer ones. And then of course added the parking lot slits over here. And then I also added a little bit more definition here on the edges. I added a stark drop shadow on mine to give it a lot more of the definition that there was a curve there. So that is uh, what I did for my McDonald's play mat. I hope that you uh, like this video. Maybe gives you some ideas for some of the upgrades you can do for your collection.